Hey everyone, this is Alana with Fidget Haven Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Kepler Mini by Kepler Technology. They're currently sold for between $15.99 and $17.99, depending on the option you pick, and they're sold from various different distributors and resellers. I purchased mine from Spinetic Spinners. The Kepler Mini is a micro-sized tri-spinner. The one that I'm reviewing here is made of stainless steel, and it's been um, electroplated with a rainbow-style coloring. One side is a mix of blue and green, and the other side is a mix of orange and pink. Each arm has three holes that are going completely through, and they sit pretty close to the bearing. I assume that this is an attempt to increase the outward mass. The stainless steel buttons have also been electroplated with the same um, color scheme as the rest of the spinner, and inside sits an R188 bearing made of steel. It's held in place by a bearing lock system. Mini spinners, and especially micro spinners, are very much my thing. I knew that I needed to have it when I first saw it, and I'm so glad that I managed to snag one. The metal is very smooth, and I find that it's well machined. The holes are very evenly done and spaced. As it's rounded and curved throughout the entire spinner, there are absolutely no hot spots to be found anywhere. It's super easy to spin, both by flicking and by pulling down from the face. The little nooks between the arms are very comfortably curved, and they make it easy to catch and release every time without any issue. The smooth surface and the rounded edges make it a pleasure to pull down from the face. It measures in at a hair under 1.25 inches, and it weighs in at 32.4 grams on my scale. Now, after getting so used to the heftiness of my mini EDC bar, I do feel like the Kepler Mini is a bit too light, but I feel like, for me personally, the positives well outweigh the lightness. No pun intended. <laughs> the stainless steel buttons are threaded, and they measure in at 18 millimeters. I feel like their size is adequate for the size and weight of the spinner. I feel that they can also accommodate larger fingers without any issue. They're very nicely concave, and I like the way that they hug my fingers when I hold it. As I mentioned earlier, they've been electroplated with the same rainbowy colors as the body of the spinner. Kepler Technology seems to brand all of their buttons, and their logo is on one side, and their name appears to be etched on the other side. The branding does increase the grippiness, but I could very happily do without the branding as I don't find it very aesthetically pleasing, and I feel like the shape of the buttons would be adequate enough to prevent any slippage. The bearing in the Kepler Mini is made of steel and it's a 10 ball R188 bearing. It's held in place by a bearing lock system and it requires a long, thin, flat-sided tool to open and close just as all of the other mass-produced ones that I've used. I find that the spin is very smooth and it's actually nearing the level of too smooth for me, but I find that a slight wiggle of the fingers increases the feedback and it gives me the type of that I look for in a spinner. The spinner has very little drag when switching between horizontal and vertical spinning, and this is, hands down, the quietest spinner that I have. The volume from the bearing is extremely minimal, and there's no song from the metal whatsoever. My first two-handed table spin was 2 minutes and 57 seconds. My second two-handed table spin was 2 minutes and 51 seconds. I chose to clean it with 91% alcohol, and after a good wash and a quick dry with some compressed air, my third two-handed table spin was 4 minutes and 26 seconds. I have to say, I'm quite impressed with the spin time considering the weight of it. Another thing that I think is worth mentioning is that I've only had to clean it twice in the time that I've had it. I feel like with how close the buttons sit to the spinner and the type of bearing lock that it's used, um, it's really helpful for keeping the dust and dirt out. Overall, I love this micro spinner. It's been so useful for fidgeting. It's ex immensely flickable and very easy to spin. It's comfortable, quiet, smooth, discreet. It's extraordinarily adorable, and it's very well priced. I think that it's great for both adults and kids, though perhaps not very young kids because it's so small. I would consider this a great concentration fidget as absolutely no attention needs to be paid to get really good spins from it. Its small sp size and its whisper quiet spin only increase the concentration usefulness. So once again, this is the Kepler Mini by Kepler Technologies. I am Alana from Fidget Haven Reviews. I um, am going to include a link to the spin Spinetic store where you can purchase the Kepler Mini, uh, and I will also include a link to my written review. 
If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to post them in the comment section below. I always love hearing from you guys. And uh, I believe that is the end of this review. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope that this was helpful for you. And I hope that you have a fantastic day.